Hello everybody and in today's video I'll be showing you how to uninstall custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch or in other words how to uninstall the jailbreak on your Nintendo Switch and we'll do this by installing HackQ 33 which is on my Switch now this pretty much performs a hard reset on your Switch uh, removing all literally everything this should only be done if you don't have a a system and backup as if you have a backup you can just restore the backup and then the jailbreak will be gone but if you don't we'll have to use hack you to completely remove everything off your switch and normally if you just did a hard reset it will remove your custom firmware and your jailbreak but if you go online you still might get banned actually first you do have to remove your micro SD card which I do now once you're on your PC uh, and you put in your micro SD card into your PC, your micro SD card should appear. I, I'm just going to minimize that now. Uh, first things you want to do on your PC is you want to go into the link in the description and and just download hackyou33.nro and it should just install. I've already downloaded those, so I'm going to delete it. Here it is. Uh, you want to go where your you, you want to open up your micro SD card on your PC, and then you should just go to a sw the switch folder, and then just drag and drop hackq33.nro into the switch folder on your micro SD card. So go to the link in the description, download the NRO file, put it onto the switch folder on your microSD card and drag and drop it in. And there, that is it. Now you can eject your microSD card. I'm just booting into custom firmware now. And I switch and it's going into atmosphere. Alright, so let's boot into whatever custom firmware you have. Okay, so once you've built up into custom firmware you can just uh, my Joy-Con is drifting. It's so annoying. I'm gonna have to fix that. Anyway, maybe I'll make a video on how to fix uh, Joy-Con drift in the future. Anyway, go to album, and then you should see HackQ33. Just there. Just about make out its logo there. I don't know. It's dark. But anyway. Uh, you can open it up, and I'm not going to do it. Uh, but to fully reset everything, you can just follow the instructions. So, ZR plus and minus together, plus and minus together, yeah, and Z ZR and ZR, ZR. Uh, and then once you've done that, everything off your switch will be completely wiped. So there'll be no traces of you ever jailbreaking before. This won't this won't unban you, uh, but this will prevent you getting banned uh, when you remove your uh, jailbreak. This removes jailbreak and yeah, and literally removes everything. Normally, if you just factory reset your switch um, after jailbreaking and didn't restore from a backup, it, the factory reset wouldn't delete any of the logs of the files of your switch being put into custom firmware or being jailbroken so then when, when you go online you'll be banned so that's why you have to do it like this hack 33 and yeah that's it for today's video uh, subscribe go follow my twitter account uh, linked in the description I just made it and yeah also I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers because uh, I want to start making money anyway that is it for today's video hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video which will be next week. Anyway, bye.